uh, thinking recently about the uh, tragedy. Okay, is that better? Is that better? Anywho, so one of the things uh, that I think about a lot is where does art come from? I wonder, you know, is there a correlation? Is there a correlation between um, this this level of genius, this level of brilliance, this level, you know, of this this level of creativity? Is there a correlation between that and drug addiction or addiction in general? To be honest with you, would have to probably say yes. There is a strong correlation. There's a necessity for drug addiction? No. But I do think that one of the, the issues that we run into with traditional treatment models is that it has a tendency to take the edge away from the creative processes that these people utilize to create works of art. That's why you see a lot of people saying, well, I can't create, I can't create because I don't have my blah, blah, blah. I don't think a, uh, I don't think that's true. I think fundamentally that creative ability is inside the person, is inside, um, and it's, it's a manifestation of, of a internal conflict. Great artists like... Prince, um, like Elvis Presley, uh, innovators, people who can take, uh, you know, Jimi Hendrix um, or Chris Farley that can create something that uh, humans can so relate to it is a calling for them. It's not something they choose to do. I don't think Prince like was like, "Hey, I'll grow up and be a really good guitar guy." These great artists use their art to mm, explore internal conflicts. Um internal conflicts that all of us have to a certain degree, but maybe have forgotten or choose to ignore. I think there are some people, unique people, that are incapable of ignoring um, this internal conflict, and they're drawn to explore it. By exploring it, they, they magnify the issue. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. When you're trying to figure out a disease, or when you're trying to figure out a cause for something, maybe you have to put it underneath a magnifying glass to get a better look at it. I think that art allows these individuals to do that very thing. Done properly, the recovery process can be a form of art. But the, the unfortunate thing is that most people are kind of looking for a soup can directions to how to have depth and, and, and meaning in their life. Recovery tries to fill this hole for them, but in doing so, really loses its purpose you know the purpose of recovery for an individual is to add depth to that individual to thine own self be true you have to kind of dig into yourself to know where your truth is many people have a need to hide from themselves because for most of their day they're doing things that are morally apprehensible to them they know some of the things that they're doing are wrong, and our society kind of rewards a lot of behavior that is morally wrong. Your, your average person might use a big screen TV set, a fancy car to try to stimulate um, the reward center of their brain in order to uh, tune out um, the uncomfortability uh, that, that's really going on, the internal... Uh, conflict that's really going on. A brilliant artist is an individual who just like jumps right into that and says, where is my truth? And that's a very painful process. And, and our society doesn't give them a lot of resources to decompress. Um, so they often have to turn to substances to um, alleviate some of the pressure that, that builds um, through this type of work. 
I think most people have this self-loathing, and this self-loathing is is a is a uh, rationalization or a defense mechanism to keep the individual from actually really doing any work to explore themselves, um, what they value, and who they are. Because an individual who's that in touch with how they feel and what motivates them and their fears and their desires, I mean, their real desires, um, I think they have a difficult time in this society because it doesn't speak to any of that anymore. We don't have, you know, we have some great artists, you know, like Prince, and, and our society is, is so corrupted that, um, that they have to medicate themselves in order to make it through a 24-hour period um, because the world just doesn't make sense to them. And we also have people that have a hard time making it through the recovery process because of this feeling like it's taking something away from them. Beautiful people who have the strength to live a life of self-examination. And that's what the recovery process is about. You know, Prince had a lot of pain in his life. Um he was very good at communicating that pain. And, and that's one of the things that I think recovery sometimes feels like it's lacking. Um, I think recovery, the recovery process is a form of art. Um, you know, the artists dive into their pain. The recovery process requires the individual to do the same thing. Art is a mechanism by which a, a human being can embrace their own internal pain pain is the brush or the scalpel by which you create your piece of work pain is is what created this depth in you in the first place because you had to find meaning in this pain meaningless pain is is insufferable so i do think that there is a form of recovery that is more in tune to this humanistic, universal, philosophical methodology. The analogy I like to use is it's like a sculptor, you know, but your, your medium, your medium is, is you as a person. And, and a sculptor will take a block of marble and will sculpt, you know, a beautiful figure out of a block of marble. And at that point, you know, when you ask a sculptor, like, wow, man, you created this, he will say, no, I did no such thing. I did not create this, this figure. I discovered it within the marble. It was always there. You just had to, you know, chip away and dig away at the superfluous stone. You know, even when your critics are telling you that that's not a sculpture and that's terrible and, and you're dumb and you're a big dumb dumb um, and you're working, you know, a program, but it's not a program that other people seem to recognize as a program. Um, if they're all working a program that looks very similar, it may just be because you're exceptional. I don't know. That's what I tell myself. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm so smart. So, uh, yeah. Well, I hope that made any sense. I hope that made some sense. Um, it made sense to me. So if you have any questions, just, you know, uh, on YouTube, they have a comment section. So if you want to hear more, you know, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to go ahead and, and wrap this up once again. Facebook, Twitter, but please subscribe. Because uh, I'll have a lot more videos coming out. And I don't want you to miss them because they're awesome. And you're awesome, so you deserve them. <sighs> no, seriously. Um, yeah. You're awesome.